What's up everybody? We're just making a vlog today. I just want to come in here and teach these kids some stuff. So make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Okay? Remember, Hank loves you. Hey everybody! My name's Hank Shaw. I don't know. Some of y'all might know. Raise your hand if you've seen me before if you know me. Okay, my name's Hank Shaw. Hank. You can call me Uncle Hank, whatever you want to. Shaw. Okay? I run Shaw's Saws and sheep sheds. Hmm? Say that five times real fast. Shaws, shaws, and sheep sheds. Right, here you go, folks. Shaws, saws, and sheep sheds. Shaws, shaws, and sheep sheds. So, Mr. Ed, you want me to come in here and just kind of talk to you a little bit about force and motion? He said you've been talking about it and learning about it. What do you know about it? That's what I want to know. I want to know, what do you remember about it? Now, if we'll just say, for instance, if I pick these two little balls right here, and I drop these. What, what's going to happen? They're going to bounce. They're going to bounce. What else? They're going to drop. Why do they drop? Because you let it go and gravity and stop it. Yeah, I let it go and gravity stopped. Now, what stops it from what keep on going? The floor. The floor. Now, if I take these two and I just roll them across this table right here and I just go, whee! Are they going to keep on rolling? No. No? So this one stopped. Why did this one stop? Friction. Because of friction, right? Now, let's talk about friction a little more. If I took this little tub right here, it's made of plastic, what can you determine or observe about this little tub right here? That it's glossy and well Is it smooth? No. It's no. plastic, it's smooth? No. This floor, is it smooth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if I put this down on the floor right here, and I just start kicking a little bit like that. We'll kick it again. Does that slide pretty easy? I'm just putting a little pressure on it. What am I putting behind that box? Force. Four. Remember, force is a what? A push or pull. Now, let's say I take this little plastic box right here and I add this little bucket, bucket of books right here. What am I adding to this? Weight. Oh, weight. Mass. mass. Mass, right? So mass or weight. So now that I've added more mass, it's heavier. There's more gravitational pull. If I try to kick this the same way, is it going to work? Maybe. It's not moving very good, is it? Is it moving very good, Jocelyn? I just know your name because your name's right there. So if I yeah. kick it right here, what am I having to do to move it? More pressure. More How you know how pressure or more force. force. I gotta put more force. Why is it not sliding as good? That's because it's more mass. It's more mass and why does it keep it sliding really good? Friction. Friction. Good job. Y'all are so smart. I can't this is, this is just amazing. Now, let's say I take these little these little things right here. Okay. Now, if I take Let's just take this one right here. If I take this one and I throw it like a little two-year-old, okay? I'm just gonna put it like, just like I'm a little two-year-old playing t-ball. And I throw this ball, what's gonna happen? Did it go very far? Why didn't it go very far? Because I didn't put much force in it. Now, if I take this ball and I sling it, just like, uh, who's a good pitcher that y'all know of? Who's a pitcher? Uh, LeBron James. Okay, LeBron James. Let's say he decided, I'm going to quit basketball and I'm going to play baseball. If he threw that ball to the wall, what's going to happen? Yeah, it's going to bounce back. It's going to bounce back. It's called an equal and opposite. It starts with an R, ends with a shun. Friction. Starts with an R. Oh, oh. An R, E. Re, re, repeat. Close, close. It's called a reaction. Now, that's part of the laws of physics. Now, if I, put, if I throw it harder, it's going to reach that wall because I'm putting more force in, right? So I had to sling it like this, right? Oh, it didn't come back to me. Let me try this one. So I sling it like this one. <laughs> All right, so it bounced against that other wall, right? Hey, Samir, would you take that ball for me? Thank you, sir. Now, you guys see girls, you know, a lot. So you're not going to get the 10 points? 
Told me that you should just be totally passing this with flying colors.